Okay, so previously I had gotten two different versions of the Moxie Lash Magnetic Eyeliner. I had a liquid liner and I had the gel liner and both of them turned out to be trash. Um, and I let them know that they were trash. So, that, so they actually sent me replacements for both of them. And I today used the replacement liquid liner um, I actually did all of my makeup, um, including liquid eyeliner, um, and then put this on over my liquid eyeliner. Someone, one of my friends suggested to give that a try because the problem with the other Moxie Lash liners were that they would dry and flake off. So I, I put that, I put it over. Now I put this liner, um, on probably... 30 or 40 minutes ago. Um, I wanted to give it a nice long time to dry because um, you kind of have to put it on thick enough for the lashes to adhere. Um, in the meantime, I also got a promotion from Moxie Lash to get a free accent lash. So I got the free baby lash, which is, which is just an, an accent lash um, because I felt like the full lashes didn't fit my eye line. So today I have these guys. I have not tried them on. I have not um, given anything a test run. So I'm going to try them today. I'm going to use tweezers to gently get them out of here. So here's the moment of truth. If the moment of truth is do does the replacement make a difference and also does the length of the lash make a difference we shall see um so i'm just gonna try to line it up over here off camera and then uh, make sure i get on camera to put it on so it definitely it's stuck on one of the magnets, but not the last magnet. So that looks all right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'll do the other side. Um, probably you'll be able to see it a bit better because mirrors and cameras, and I'm not a mirror and a camera genius. And I put it just at the edge. I didn't go into the wing, really. Okay, so mm, it's a little off. Um, let me try to fix it. Oh gosh, there's no fixing it. Okay, it peeled off a little bit of the Moxie liner there when I tried to readjust just now so I don't want to screw with it too much because um, that was one of my other complaints is that if you have to readjust it just pulls the liner off um, I'm just gonna leave it to me they're not perfect uh, as far as symmetry because the left one is going kind of off into the wing a bit too much and then this one is stopping right at my natural lash line um, and I definitely, I like the accents better. I, um, they're easier to put on, I think, and I don't have to trim them because what's the point of giving full lashes and then trimming them to accent length anyway? That's ridiculous. Uh, they're all right. They feel the same as um, a traditional lash, like a traditional glue-on lash. Um, I'm looking at them. I just don't like how much on the edge this one is. So here I'm pulling it off and you can see where each single magnet was. It has pulled the Moxie liner off. And I'm telling you, I seriously waited almost an hour for this stuff to dry. And I put it on over other liner and actually 
I don't know if you can see it, but it ripped all of the liner off. It ripped the Moxie liner off, and it ripped off my Kat Von D inked or whatever liquid liner. So, I, can I even show that? Does it show it? Gosh, cameras, me, tricks, I don't know. There's just, it's, there's gunk on it. Um, I'm going to try to re-put it. Now it's just, now it's just all coming off. I placed it a little better. Um, you can still see the chunks out of the liner. So I'm still not, I'm still not impressed. I'm still not convinced that magnetic liner is the business. It, it doesn't. I can't readjust my lashes. You have to be perfect the first time, and that sucks. This one is okay. I'm leaving that one. I'm not touching it. This other one, though, is kind of shit. Um, I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to clean off the lashes here in a second, but you can see the gaps. I shook the ever-loving bejeebus out of this stuff earlier. And now I'll shake it some more. Shaking, 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 shaking forever. Okay. Shook. I'm shook. And I wiped a little bit off because I really only want to go in and fix what got pulled off. Oh, what the hell? that got pulled off and actually I can't even do that because I'm I just tried to swipe and it tried to take chunks off like chunks that weren't even chunked off so gosh I don't I wish I could put this on like in the mirror or in the camera but man I'm just at, this is not a good enough camera for that I'm gonna chill here with one eyelash on, and while this dries, I'm going to take this liner off carefully and just kind of scrape it off with my um, tweezers here. Because it's gunky. And I'm gonna grossly go put it on my junk towel. Sorry, towel. You're dirty and it needs to go in the laundry anyway, so. I am just picking the chunky liner. Ew. Off. While I'm picking this, I'll tell you a story. Um, so I put on, obviously, eye makeup today. Um, on my eyes, I have, um, I put all over my face, I think, poor be gone, some kind of sample of, um, makeup primer, poor be gone, I swear is the name of it. And it, it was just a sample and it did my whole face and I still have more to do my whole face again. And I put that on my lids too. Now I didn't clump it up and put more on my lids. I just, the whole face got the same thing. I do my face first and then I do my eyes. So um, when I did my eyes, right before I did my eyes, I put just the tiniest bit of my normal concealer on my eyelids. And my concealer is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. Um, and I just put a little on my finger and then I pat. That's it. Um, and then I put on, as you can see, some cool eyeshadow. Today, my eyeshadow is new too. It is one of those multi-chrome eyeshadows. I have it here. It's Dream 
by Mator Ugh. Dream by Notoriously Morbid. Why that tongue twisted me just now, I don't know. It says vegan and not lip safe. You can see it's a cool multi-chrome. It has like a teal blue and then like a purple in it. That's on my eyelids. I also got from Notoriously Morbid, I'm still waiting for this to dry, um, with my order of multi-chrome, I ordered Dream and I think I ordered Death as well. I haven't sampled that one yet. It's still in its little shrink wrap. They sent me Mystic Matte in the shade Hollow Inside and I actually looked up my order because I was like, what is this shit that they sent me? I didn't or order orange lipstick. I hate orange. I hate uh, I hate warm colors, honestly. I hate yellow and I hate orange. And and for the longest time, I hated red. I uh, had to have red hair for years before I even liked the color red. Um, anyway, Notoriously Morbid sent me this lip stuff and I had to look it up to make sure it was lip stuff. And I couldn't find the shade that they sent me. So I'm like, uh, is this like, how opaque is this? Is it a shimmer? Like I couldn't find online what it was, a, a sample of it, not on their website. I didn't search for people swatching it. Anyway, it comes in a tube like this and it's like orange and it has a gold and it looks like orange, gold and orange. And like the gold is kind of like a greeny gold sparkle in it. And I was like, this is going to be awful. I don't like orange. Anyway, I'm sampling makeup today. So I just put it on and it went on nice and smooth. It smells what it looks like. It smells like pumpkin spice latte. I hate pumpkin spice latte. I hate orange. I hate this lipstick. Someone else take it. Um, I don't know how it comes off or if it comes off easily. It went on smoothly. There's, wow, there's some transfer. I hadn't tested that yet. There's some transfer. Um, so it's probably not gonna make it through lunch. I haven't had lunch yet, so gross. Uh, so it smells really like pumpkin spice and it's right on your lips. So it's right under it's right under your nose. You're going to smell it. Is this dry yet? Oh my gosh, is it dry yet? Um, why, why make lip product, honestly any makeup product, why make it scented? It's on your face. People are sensitive to smells. I'm sensitive to smells, especially a lip product though. Why would you make this scented? I hate it. I hate that it smells like pumpkin spice. I get that people like pumpkin pumpkin spice, but ugh, please, please tell people before you, I hope, I hope that this real listing of this, I know that they sent it to me for free. I hope the real listing of this says that it is scented. I would be so pissed if I bought this or another shade and I got it and it was scented because I would never use it. I hate it. And that's my rant about Notoriously Morbid's lip stuff that they sent to me for free. I'm sorry. Um, what? I'm still waiting for um, this to dry. So I'm still ranting about Notoriously Morbid. And I'm still kind of vaguely picking off the gunk, although I think I got most of it. Um, uh, so anyway, Notoriously Morbid. I got this multi-chrome. And I'm looking at it. You kind of can't see that it's multi-chrome on the camera. If I turn the lights off, does it help? Oh, there. Yeah, now with the lights off and just the natural light coming through my shower curtain, you can kind of see it. That it has like a blue and a purple shift. I got a teal and a purple shift, which looks beautiful with my hair. I love it. I love it. It comes in, well, since we're all into the notoriously morbid now at this point, <clears throat> it comes in a little, what are these called shaker jars? Let me open it. 
it is not a shaker jar. A shaker jar would have a little shaker screen in it, you know, like, so you could just dose out a little bit. What I, the way I use these is um, I put my brush in the pot and then I tap it out in the lid. Or sometimes like now, <clears throat> the lid has product sticking to it. I'll just take my brush into the lid and use that as my product. Um, I put my eyeshadow on a little bit differently than other people. I actually put it on facing down, like facing a mirror. And again, this is because I put my face on first and then I put my eyeshadow on. I see lots of people online who put their eyes on first and then their face. And I don't know, I never did it like that. I've tried it like that. I don't like it. Sometimes, I guess I could see you doing that if you had really bold eyes, um, but then you have to be really careful about not getting your um, foundation into your eye stuff, and I'm not careful. So that's why I put my face on, and then I put my eyeshadow on, and I seriously put a mirror on the counter, or on the sink, and I lean down, and all the drop, all the powder stuff falls off of my eyes, it never falls onto my cheeks. It falls straight onto the mirror. And then I just wipe the mirror off with a piece of toilet paper um, and then we're good. Okay, so I hope that this is dry because now this video is long and I did not intend to have a long video. And now I'm gonna probably put it on YouTube instead of anywhere else. Anyway, I now have a refreshed eyeliner. I'm going to try to super carefully place this accent lash where I want it. This one's good. I like it. It's fine. I didn't have to readjust it. That's the only reason why it's fine. I will very carefully, and I'm sorry, I wish I could make this more. If I hold it, if I hold it, maybe you can see me putting it on. This is the worst angle in the world. Can you see it? You can see it. Okay, you're watching. Oh, Jesus, I already fucked up. Okay, well, I don't know what kind of depth perception problem I've got. I guess that matches. I, I mean, I guess, actually, that that does match. I'm not trying, I'm not gonna re-put it on. <clears throat> I'll put my camera back into my medicine cabinet, which is how I have this up. So, <clears throat> Moxie Lash. I don't know what's up with your liner. It, if I put it on thin, it gets flaky and falls off. If I put it on chunky, it dries and fl falls off. If I put it on over a liner that I already is dried, it pulls off if I have to readjust. Have I enumerated all the ways? I have put the liner directly on naked eyes without any product. It dries and flakes and falls off. I've put it on with just primer. It fl dries and flakes and falls off. I don't know how to use this product I guess this is the best way I have used it so far, <clears throat> is to put it on over an existing liner and wait for it to dry for like an hour. I think they only say to let it dry for like 10 minutes, maybe. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it's just not that amazing, okay? The amazing part, I suppose, for me is that it isn't glue, so it's not pulling out my eyelashes. It doesn't have latex in it, although modern lash adhesive doesn't necessarily have latex in it. They know that that's an allergy that people have. So <clears throat> I still am whelmed. I still, as far as magnetic eyeliner goes compared to glue on strip lashes, it scores the same for me. Okay, like the negatives and positives are the same level of negatives and positives for traditional glue on lenses, lenses, lashes. So it's like whatever you choose, choose your 
weapon, right? <clears throat> so I think this will be fine for today. I'm just sitting at my desk all day working, so it will be okay that these this the lashes um they're not getting a like huge test run i'm not going out dancing i'm not going to a photo shoot or anything like that when i'm at a photo shoot <clears throat> sometimes because i do weird photo shoots i smash my face against things and move things over my face which yeah it does smear my makeup but i don't want to risk my eyelashes coming off so i would not use this in a photo shoot not i just wouldn't um, I would use these for like, oh, I'm going to hang out at the office or I'm just chilling out at my own house or I'm going to the grocery store and I want to look fancy. I don't think I would wear these for a photo shoot and I don't think I would wear them for a club night because I would not trust them to not fall off or be annoying to apply, which, you know, glue is already annoying. So there's my review. They get a C. Moxie Lash continues to get a C. As far as your liquid magnetic liner, I have not retried the um, gel liner that you guys sent me. I haven't tried it yet to see if it was better than the other one. I'll try it the same way that I did this. I'll put it on an existing liner. Um, so C, uh, the lashes themselves are fine. Whatever. They're also a C. They're I, I guess I couldn't ask for much more, so fine, I'll give them the lashes themselves, I'll give an A, because I can't actually think of what more I would want other than like two sets and sandwich them together, like my Andrea lashes. Anyway, B, I'll give them a B. The lashes get a B. The liner gets a C. Moving on. The notoriously morbid lip stuff. F, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It transfers. Um, it smells awful. Um, the only thing that it's doing good is, <clears throat> I guess if you like orange, this is a good color. It, it doesn't feel drying. I guess that's fine. I still give them enough. I don't like it. Um, <clears throat> the Notoriously Morbid Dream Multichrome Loose Eyeshadow. 10 out of 10. I freaking love it. Um, it's amazing. Um, I guess my only beef is that it didn't come with a shaker in it. And you know what? I really don't care that much. So whatever. A. This gets an A. So I don't hate everything. This gets an A. Anyway, um, that's the longest video I have ever made, I think. So um, everybody enjoy that. I'm going to put it on YouTube. Totally unedited. Whatever. Who gives a shit? Everyone enjoy your... Um, quarantines. Uh, be safe out there. Bye. <laughs>